I came here because uh, well, I'm a pool player and uh, matches last typically three to four hours. So uh, after typically about like two hours, I'm starting to get pain in my hips. Um, uh, for a long time, I've had pain in like my upper neck. Um, and about three years ago, I woke up, uh, or sorry, five years ago, I woke up um, and was unable to turn right. I had this like immense pain sort of right, uh, a little bit above in between my shoulder blades. Um, so anyway, a whole plethora of issues and I figured I'd come to you to get checked out. Gotcha, gotcha. Can you uh, assume a typical position you notice yep. after a couple of hours? Sure, so um, typical pool position is, you know, you're lining up kind of, I'm a righty, so I'm lining up my right side. So I'll step in with my uh, right leg and then go down like this. So I'm often locking my right, my right leg and my hip, and then the left leg is kind of going anywhere. I'm going down, stretching my left shoulder, and then the right shoulder stays pretty stable um, mm -hmm. as I rock back and forth, and then you shoot. Okay. In, in, so while you're in that position, you said after two hours, where do you feel the most uh, issues at? Yeah, so it's typically my neck is getting really low. Obviously, I need to sort of turn my neck up. So it's typically my neck, but then my hips will also get up um, as I'm hinging. Okay. Where the neck do you usually feel? The lower part, the mid part, or the upper part? Uh, typically, mm, so uh, typically the upper part, probably more so than anything. Um, goes, uh, go ahead, uh, just in the position again. Yeah. So I'm seeing over here, you've got a lot of muscle spasm going on already. Yeah. It's swelling right here. Yeah, yeah. So it's sure. like more like the mid and the upper. So yeah, take a closer look what's going on in that mid section over there. Yeah, I think so. And then what's going on down the low back? Um, yeah. So, yeah. So when I assume this position, uh, again, when I start off, it doesn't really feel that bad. But after a couple of hours of going up and down across a number of games, mm -hmm. um, typically it's in, I'll find like a soreness. It's typically a dull pain. Um, typically, both hips, but sometimes just the right. Um, rarely it would be just the left. How is the aim itself after playing two to three hours compared to you know initially after you know the first hour? Yeah. And then after two hours or three hours, how's your aim in the shoulder itself? Uh, yeah. Oftentimes, I can in pool we call it losing your arm slot. Um, uh -huh. Sort of similar to if you were a pitcher in baseball, and like after a while, you just kind of lose the rhythm. Um, It'll, it'll go typically after two, three hours and usually have to kind of reset a little bit, play a little bit differently and be maybe a little bit more cautious with long shots. But uh, it's definitely way better at the beginning than it is at the end. Gotcha. What do you have most trouble by that second or third hour or so with your shoulders? Where do I have trouble? Yes. Um, it, uh, how do you mean? Like what kind of pain? Well, when you, when you try to like assume the position and you try yeah. to shoot, what do you notice? You have a little, what, you have to like, oh, I see. compensating. Yeah, yeah, so, um, yeah, I'll typically be, uh, the one thing you don't want to do is flare your elbow out, but that's exactly what will happen. So after a couple hours, you want to stay as straight as possible, mm -hmm. but then as some pain ensues, uh, often the elbow will flare out, and so now the cue is now moving back and forth, you can miss hit. And now, first thing I'm looking for is, where is the atlas misalignment? So your atlas itself, it's, wedge this way and rotating forward this way. So in essence, your head is like, it says, okay, I went forward this way and tilt it that way. Okay, so yeah, this doesn't feel fun. So why is it doing that way? So we're gonna trace all straight down, see if the foundation itself is stable, and no, it's not. Sacred base angle, neutral position should be more here. Okay, but it's backwards. So what we'll make it go backwards, gonna be either a posterior sacrum, or ASIN or ASN ilium, okay? And that's what I'm expecting over here, all right? Do we have a sacrum issue or ASIN or ASN ilium? Now, what makes this case a little more challenging is the fact that we're gonna confirm it on you, but if we are dealing with a sacrum or this left ASIN issue over here, once we start adjusting this fellow over here, okay? This femur acetabular line over here, it should be leveled. It's sinking down. Mm -hmm. Once we start adjusting this, it's gonna sink even more down. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of like no different like you when you play, you know, you play a pool and you set all those balls up. Mm -hmm. You don't want to accidentally sink, you know, the eight ball into the pocket. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's why I'm giving you the heads up biomechanically. And as we start addressing this, okay, and I'm gonna confirm on you whether we gotta deal with this fellow or this fellow over here. Either way, no matter what, it's gonna make this even more downwards. So we may have to, in the future, put a heel lift, raise it up. 
Now, we only do that if I find your spine is unable to adapt and not holding adjustments. Okay. So that's why I'm not gonna put it in right away. We're gonna monitor, see if your body's able to adapt without it. Okay. okay. If it's able to adapt without it, I don't put it in. If okay. it doesn't, okay, then we have to put it in. We'll find out after six visits or so. Okay. And the reason why it's also a good candidate for a heel lift is because this, your whole entire lumbar spine is like a leaning tire piece and it's sinking down on that side. Yeah. So by putting the heel lift in, it's going to re-level this one over here. Got it. If it's the opposite direction, no, that's definitely a big no-no because if I put the heel lift, it's going to tilt it even more that way. We don't want that. Same thing with the spinal processes, everything's rotated away from it. That's another good indication. So it's going to help take some of that rotation out. Mm -hmm. like, like this over here. Mm -hmm. Now, if it was everything's peeled this way, I put the heel lift in there, it's going to make it even more this way. You're not going to like that either. So yeah. since everything's already this way and leaning toward that way, good candidate for heel lift. Okay. Right. Again, we're going to, once again, we're going to confirm that if your spine's able to hold with mm -hmm. it. Okay. Next component I'm also seeing is that fifth dorsal over here. Okay, well, I'm seeing the ribs are not symmetrical over here, right? This one over here is a little higher than everything else. Mm -hmm. So, and also I see that it's posterior over here as well. We need to address that one. And we got this nice little swollen disc over there, that third dorsal, that's not happy ever, you know, either. And all of these, by the way, are PLs. So that's why we want to also recenter your atlas over here. Mm -hmm. Since these areas of the spine is rotated towards the left. Mm -hmm. okay? Your atlas is already anterior on the left. So when I start adjusting the PL over here, we center it, we center it, we center it, we center it. It's going to eventually make the atlas back to center alignment. Yeah. It's going to take more pressure over here. But I'm also going to let you know how I know this problem has been there for so long. Okay. Mm -hmm. The way your body was compensating and it twists it up. Mm -hmm. We're talking like the bottom part twisted this way yeah. and the top part twisted this way. It's been going on for so long, it's aggravating this. All right? And there's posterior osteophytes over here. That means this became swollen and it has been trying to, trying to move a lot more okay, to compensate for everything else that's mm -hmm. like rigid and stuck. Uh -huh. So since it started to move a little too much, it started to you know, swell up a little bit and irritate. And the body's trying to stabilize it by growing those little extra increases surface area. All right? Interesting. Right, to provide more structural support to the disc. So that's why these osteophytes are going backwards into the canal. Mm. The problem with that is that as it's starting to grow into the canal, what's gonna do to the nerve? It's gonna start irritating even more. Yeah. All right? So the fourth cervical nerve root, okay, that goes all straight down, innervates part of your shoulders, mm -hmm. okay, and also your lungs. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's something we want to address, but I'm going to confirm that after we do everything else. Got it. Right? So, first thing we do is visualization. We look for is there any swelling and muscle spasms. See? Swelling, muscle spasms tight. Oh, see this? It's nice and loose. Feel that right there? Yeah. Nice and tight, right? Yeah. See that nice little bump? So, this is swollen over here. And I know a little hard to see for you guys, but you know, you check for pitting edema and it sinks right there. It should be nice and smooth, but nope. It's like going into a, for that pit right there, sir? Yeah, it is. Right? So there's a, right, so that's what we call pitting edema. So something is, is an issue right here. It has a potential on the mark that level. Okay. And we're tracing and looking, everything else. And you can see over here, see something is swollen around that lower lumbar area. So either the fifth or the fourth, fourth lumbar is here, so this is smack in the middle. We're gonna see what's going on over there, okay? And the same story as well over here, okay? Something's going on swollen over here. It's all puffy, okay? And yeah, see, both muscles are kind of spastic and tight. So now, uh, because we have that data over there, my expectation is there should be some heat readings at those particular levels where I just or we just found those. Everything should be correlating. Right, and that's what I want over here. Now this device over here is looking for that, for that uh, abnormal temperature given off of that inflammatory process.
tendon there a bit, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's swollen down here too. A little bit less so on that side. Okay. So since it's swollen on the bottom part, okay, that's indication of a potential ASL over here. Okay. Oh, that fellow right there. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, that's not fun. Okay, so right hip is moving just fine. Slight fixation. Slight fixation. Okay. Oh, that fellow right there. Uh, yeah, that's me. Yeah, fourth one was that happy. Yeah. Everything else moving just uh, how's that feel right yeah, there? Yeah. Yeah, that's not happy. How's that feel right there? Uh, yeah, that's also a little tight. Yeah. yeah. Okay, relax. How's that feel right there? Um, uh, definitely, oh, there it is, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's just six. Yeah. How's that? Oh, feel? wow, that's a lot more. <laughs> that's your four. Yeah. Yep. How's that fellow right there? Um, not so much pain there. So that's your atlas. It's not too bad. Octopus not too bad. Got it. No more. No more. Good. Okay, walk around. What's interesting? What's interesting? Um feeling a little bit more balanced. I feel like usually as I walk I'm going a little I'm almost like dropping on my left side. Um mm -hmm. but kind of immediately. <laughs> a little bit more balance, it's interesting. Okay. Uh, that's a, yeah. So I forgot to mention the viewers as, mm -hmm. uh, I was, as I was watching you doing your gait analysis. Now, these fellows over here, you know, they're starting to move more. Yeah. But it looks like you still, this is still some slight fi fixation on here. Sure. So most likely the nerve innervation from the fourth lumbar is not supplying enough nerve function to here. I see. Okay, I'm on up. Around. That was intense, that's a lot. There we go. Mm. Tell me, what's different there? Yeah, uh, definitely feel like more, um, I think you were describing before, like a little bit more movement. I think like the first adjustment I felt more balanced, but now I feel like this a um, little bit more mobility that I just, I, uh, it's hard to describe, uh, that I just feel like I hadn't felt before. And like um, some rotation going on or movement going on lower. Yeah. Nice, makes nice. Sense. But just like I, just like I mentioned before mm -hmm. on the actual analysis, you know, just like how you try to set up all your shots and you don't yeah. want to accidentally sink the eight ball in. Yeah. Right? This is exactly what I was concerned about. And I saw during the gait analysis, uh -huh. your left hip, it's already start dropping more yes. than it should. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're going to keep an eye on that and you're going to let me know in the future visits in terms of, okay. uh, in terms of how's your walking gait, jogging gait, stance, all that stuff. Okay. All right. So don't be surprised. You may start experiencing some, some new or maybe a pre-existing old left hip injury or okay. had a discomfort you may experience in the past that may flare up, got to show up again. And said, hey, Tom, what's going on over there? I'm supposed to feel this pain. And I said, no, yeah, yeah. I'm letting you know. This thing size something a little bit more. Okay. So okay. we're going to keep an eye on what's going on in this region over here. Okay. All right? Let it go. Let it go. There's one. There we go. A little more. There's two. Ooh, this is not moving at all. Oh, we definitely got a good shooting arm back. <laughs> oh, that's a nice clunker. Nice. There it is. Where's that? 
This is slightly jammed. Here it is. Slightly jammed up here as well. There we go. <laughs> There's a big clunker right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what we call that's a multi band right there. Not too bad. Come on up. Cool. Check the elbows. Oh, this is down. There we go. <laughs> so you better get your shooting thumb on right, man. I think so, yeah. yeah. There we go. Let's check your fingers. Not too bad. Turn this one around. There we go. There we go. So crazy. Better at all. Good. Here goes. All right. So. Cool. Okay. Go ahead. Assume the the shooting stance. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um. I'm not feeling anything in my neck now, which is nice. Mm -hmm. uh, usually the hips don't, I don't start feeling anything differently for a couple of hours. So, but just already that's like way smoother. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Nice. All right. So tell you what, on the following visit, you let me know, you know, yeah. how, how things go are. After a couple of matches. Yeah. You got it. Good latest updates. How's everything coming along? Uh, things are going well. Um, after the heel lift and adjustments from last week, I had a pool match on Friday. Uh, well, went really well because the team won, but more importantly, uh, after like three hours, I was feeling really good. Stayed even afterwards to play with my teammates. Um, no pain in my hips or my neck. Um, and frankly, my shooting got like better as I went along, not like got tired out. Uh, which was really awesome. Nice. Well, yeah. thanks for the updates. Cool. Sure.